Hi everyone, welcome to Caribbean Crypto Tips. I hope all of you have been enjoying the 2021 bull market so far. Now if you are a modern investor such as myself, what people tend to do in these times is look for relatively new projects that they can invest in and hopefully grow their wealth. One such example would be this project called AIOZ Network. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but all I know is that it is fresh off the Ethereum press. As Ethereum is the main blockchain that most new projects are started on. I would have only heard about this project tonight self, April 2nd. And as you can see, it doesn't even have a graph yet. And on CoinMarketCap, there's very little information about the project itself. Now, if you head over to another market website such as CoinGecko, you may see some more information such as the max supply, but that is basically it. Tokens like these are extremely new. You probably will not find them on many exchanges. You might find them listed first on decentralized exchanges, and they may take a little while before they actually appear on centralized exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how you can invest in new tokens like these. And of course this is not financial advice. This video is just for educational purposes. Now, the first thing you want to do is to have a MetaMask wallet and we are going to add this token to our wallet by clicking this symbol here on CoinMarketCap. Click add token and now the token has been successfully added to my MetaMask wallet. The next thing that I want to do is to do a little more research about the actual company or the token itself and I'll head over to their website. And from what I see here, they are a new blockchain based content delivery network catered toward content creators and also content viewers. If I scroll down, you realize that they have their own YouTube-like website. They're working on a subscription video service as well as a streaming service. Now, you can also actually join the network by being a node on the network and you can see the node distribution here below. Now, the problems that they're trying to solve are Poor streaming experience, costly infrastructure, and scalability in a decentralized world. Now, these are all relatively good goals, and let's head over to the actual video platform. It looks very similar to YouTube itself, and I think I can feel right at home with a platform like this. Now, in terms of value for this token, what we can do is look at a relatively similar token and see how it has risen over time. For example, this is the Theta token, and as you can see, the token's value has risen this year several multiples. It went from $2 to $12 in a short space of time. So therefore, it seems that our new token may have a similar potential if it can live up to what it claims it will do. Okay, let's see which decentralized exchange this token is listed on. If I head over to Market, and I scroll down, I realize that it is on Uniswap, 1inch, as well as PancakeSwap. So let's try Uniswap first. But before I do, I'm going to go up and grab the Ethereum contract address first. And then I'm going to head over to Uniswap. And when you're here on Uniswap, please make sure that you have the right Ethereum address unlocked. And when you're going to select your token, please ensure that you paste the correct token contract address. That you would have copied from CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. So as you can see here, I would have added this token to my wallet. So now it's time to make a swap. Now I'm going to swap about 0.04 ETH for AIOZ tokens and I'll click swap and confirm. Of course, MetaMask is going to open up to confirm this transaction. And from what I see here, my gas fee is going to be around a hundred and something dollars. So that is a bit too much for what I'm willing to pay right now. So I'm going to reject this transaction. Now, unfortunately, the Ethereum network at these times is quite congested and transaction fees are quite high. 
So this might be a good opportunity for me to try out the new Binance Smart Chain and see if I can perform this particular swap using that particular blockchain instead. Now I do intend to still use my MetaMask wallet to carry out this transaction, but unfortunately MetaMask natively connects to the Ethereum blockchain and not to the Binance Smart Chain. Now if I head over to Binance Academy, there's a tutorial showing you exactly how you can connect your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. So if I scroll down, you will see a list here of things that you're supposed to do to correctly set up your MetaMask wallet. Now I do have my MetaMask wallet open here on the side and if I follow the instructions properly, it says to go here and click the settings for the wallet and go to networks. And here you'll see a list of networks that are associated with my MetaMask wallet. And as you can see, I'm connected to the main Ethereum network. But I want to add a custom network to my wallet. Now, see these fields or these boxes here? They must be populated with specific information, which I will copy and paste from the Binance Academy website. So the network name is SmartChain. This URL. The chain ID is 56, symbol is BNB, and the block explorer URL is this. I click save, and as you can see, the Binance Smart Chain has been added to my MetaMask wallet successfully. So I can close this off now, and as you can see, I have BNB here as the main token and although I have the Ethereum symbol, please ignore this for now, you're connected to the smart chain network. So all that's left now is to copy this address, head over to Binance and deposit some BNB to my MetaMask wallet. I'll paste the address, I'll select Binance Smart Chain. Of course I'll be prompted to ensure that I understand what I'm doing. I'll click yes, next. Now you have one more final security check to ensure you understand what you're doing. You must understand that if you withdraw to anything on the Binance Smart Chain Network to a wallet that only supports Ethereum, you run the risk of losing your funds. But of course, we just set up our wallet. So I'm gonna click this. I understand that I will lose my funds if your wallet isn't set up properly, but ours is. We click next. Are you familiar with the Binance Smart Chain? Yes, I am. And I have passed the test. Now I'm going to enter the amount of BNB I want to withdraw. In this case, it's going to be 0.33. I'll click Submit. And of course, I'm going to bypass this two-factor authentication step. Now, as you can see, the transaction was successful. And over here in my MetaMask wallet, you can see the BNB has arrived safely into my wallet. Now we're going to head over to PancakeSwap and this is a DEX where we're going to use the swap to get our AIOZ tokens. Now this is actually the first time we're ever using PancakeSwap so don't laugh at me too much. But I'll assume the interface is similar to how it was on MetaMask or 1inch or any other DEX. The first thing you do is connect your wallet. I select MetaMask and I should receive a prompt that asks me whether I want to connect to this website or not. I click next and connect. So now I'm successfully connected to the PancakeSwap website. So now I head over to trade and exchange. Now I'll look for the token that I want, the AIOZ token, to see if it's in the list. It's not in the list, so chances are I will have to add this token manually to PancakeSwap. To do that, I head over to the Twitter account of AIOZ. I look for the smart contract details for the BEP20 smart chain. Copy the contract, head back over to PancakeSwap and paste the contract in. And here I can see the token listed. Now all that's left to do is to enter the amount of BNB I would like to swap. In this case, I'm going to enter 0.3 BNB and this should give me about 
46 AI OZ tokens. I click swap, confirm, and of course I go to my MetaMask wallet and confirm that transaction there. As you can see, the gas fee is only 57 cents. I click confirm and my transaction has been submitted. I just have to wait now until the AI OZ tokens come to my MetaMask wallet. And as you can see here, it has been confirmed. Now, of course, I want to check to see if my balance is correct. So I'm going to open up the wallet. And as you can see here, I have the correct amount of BNB left back, but I do not see my token here. So I'm going to add token. I'm going to go to custom token. And I'm going to paste the smart contract for the AIOZ token. And as you can see here, I have 47 AIOZ tokens. So everything is correct. This is the correct balance. And I have successfully done the swap using PancakeSwap and the Binance Smart Chain. Now I do hope this video was helpful, especially to those new investors in the crypto space. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, share and comment below. If you are feeling generous, then I accept donations. All of my donation links are in the description below. And all of the links I use in this video are also going to be in the description below. I thank you for watching.